Hi, hello, and welcome. Um, so I thought that since I already have a pile, piles, and piles and piles of books around me, uh, I might as well just, you know, go through all my unread books. So welcome to my physical TBR, also known as all my unread books. <laughs> um, there won't be any rhyme or reason behind the order of these books. Um, I've tried to make sure that the series are together. They may not be in the correct order, but they should be together. Or at least authors' books should be together. I, I will see what happens. So there's going to be like a general pile for like all the fiction books. There will be arc pile, um, non-fiction pile, and what was the fourth one I had? Um, anthologies. <laughs> um, so basically, short story collection books. That that kind of jazz. So, <laughs> why don't we just start with the books I have right here in front of me. And it will just be a, like a speed through of all the books. I'm not going to talk about the books because, let's be honest, I don't know about the books. Um, so, which at Mart, without much further ado, um, I'm gonna go into all the books. So, if there are any of the books you think I should prioritize picking up before, you know, the other books, um, let me know in the comments and, uh, I might actually pick up those books first because honestly, I don't have any idea of what books I pick up when I pick up them. I just, I just pick up books. Yeah, so let's get into all the books. So, yeah. House of Odysseus by Claire North. He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan. The Adventures of Mina Al Sarifi by Shannon Chakraborty. 19 Steps by Millie Bobby Brown. Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. Broken Homes, Foxglove Summer, The Furthest Station, The Hanging Tree, Lice Sleeping, and False Value by Ben Aronovich. Club Dead, Dead to the World, Dead as a Doornail, Definitely Dead, Altogether Dead, and From Dead to Us by Shalane Harris. Just Henry by Michelle McGorian, The Secret History by Donna Tart, Cephalshire, and Citadel by Kate Mossy. The Lost World by Michael Crichton. Lipstick Jungle and One Fifth Avenue by Candace Bushnell. The Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. The Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. She by H. Ryder Haggard. A Rose Petal Summer by Katie Ford. Guard Your Heart by Sue Divin. Music and Malice in Hurricane Town by Alex Bell. Boy Queen by George Lester. Christmas Shopaholic and I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella. The Dark Path by Michelle Sachs. A Surprise Christmas Wedding by Philippa Ashley. The Cornish Cream Tea Christmas by Cressida McLaughlin. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. The Last Storm by J.D. Linton. The Hippopotamus, Heroes and Troy by Stephen Fry. Wish You Were Dead by Peter James. The Double Clue by Agatha Christie. Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates. Blood Voyager by Katie Colopy. She goes by Rowan Redfield now. Pedigree Mum by Fiona Gibson. Breathless by Jennifer Niven. The Eye of the Moon and The Devil's Graveyard by Anonymous. My Map of You by Isabel Brew. The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of a Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. The Fading by Christopher Ransom. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Summer at Hope Meadows, Christmas at Mistletoe Cottage, Springtime at Wildacre, Snowflakes over Moon Cottage, Summer Days at Sunrise Farm, and Christmas at Silverdale by Lucy Daniels. Love Me Do by Lindsay Kelk, The Cats We Meet Along the Way by Nadia Mikhail, Forging Silver into Stars by Bridget Kemmerer, The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra, The Perplexing Theft of the Jewel and the Crown, The Strange Disappearance of a Bollywood Star, Inspector Chopra and the Million Dollar Motor Car, Murder at the Grand Raj Palace, and Bad Day at the Vulture Club by Vaseem Khan, Gemina, and Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, The Rune of Kings by Jen Lyons, Illuminaries and The Hunting Moon by Susan Dennard. You Can Be So Pretty by Holly Bourne. Only Love Can Hurt Like This by Paige Toon. Upon a Frosted Star by M.A. Kusner. 
Song of Silver, Flame Like Night by Amelie Wen Sao. The Double Trouble Society and the Worst Curse by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Masters of Death and the Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. The Stolen Air by Holly Black. Walking on Sunshine by Giovanna Fletcher. The Art of Prophecy and the Art of Destiny by Wesley Chu. Wolf Song and Raven Song by TJ Klune. The Chocolate Lovers Club. The Chocolate Lovers Diet. The Chocolate Lovers Christmas. The Chocolate Lovers Wedding. A Place to Call Home. Christmas Cakes and Mistletoe Nights. It's Now or Never. And A Million Love Songs by Carol Matthews. The Casebook of Sherlock Holmes. The Hand of the Baskervilles and the Valley of Fear. The Return of Sherlock Holmes and His Last Bow by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sense and Sensibility. Pride and Prejudice. Mansfield Park. Emma and Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. The Bone Season. The Bone Season fully revised. <laughs> the Mime Order. The Song Rising. The Mask Falling. A Day of Fallen Nights. And Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. For the anthologies or short story collections, I have the complete Grimm's Fairy Tales. Collective Visions Lost in Transmissions. Arcanum and Bound by Brandon Sanderson. And the last one is The Winter Spirits Ghostly Tales for Frosty Nights. And over to Arcs, I have The Love Interest by Helen Comerford. Goddess Crown by Shade Lapite. Don't know how to say that name at all. And lastly, Lily's Just Fine by Jill Stewart. And finally, all the non-fiction I have. So I have The Fright Chronicles by Stephen Fry. Beyond the One, The Magic and Mayhem of Growing Up Wizard by Tom Felton. Letters on Motherhood by Giovanna Fletcher. Did I Ever Tell You This by Sam Neill. Madly Deeply, The Alan Rickman Diaries by Alan Rickman. Dear Reader, The Comfort and Joy of Books by Kathy Rensenbrink. And finally, How to Be a Woman by Caitlin Moran. And those are all the unread books I currently own. Um, if I have missed any, I don't know where they are. And the cats are going crazy. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If there are any books I should prioritize, do let me know. And until next time, take care, bye bye.